Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, restore your IMEI numbers. You may have reset your phone and you found that your phone is saying invalid IMEI. So let me show you how to um, uh, fix that. Now first of all, if you've reset it and um, it's, uh, it's gone into Chinese, let me show you how to uh, turn it back to English. So what we need to do is find the settings. That's the icon for settings. Press that. And then we need to go to language. See that little A there? We need to press that. And then at the top here, press that. And then scroll down to uh, or up to English there. And there we are. We're, we're in English now. Okay. So um, there we are. Th there's the error that you'll be getting. Um, it will be saying invalid IMEI. Uh, when you factory reset it, sometimes the IMEI can be wiped too. So we need to restore that. Now you need to download a tool called uh, Zoppo IMEI tool. Um, you can email us and we can send you a link to it um, and install it on this phone. So put that um, application on a memory card, put the memory card in the phone. Um, and then search for it. So we need to go to a, a file manager. I've saved it under here. Zoppo IMEI tool. Um, it will say install blocked because I need to just allow unknown sources there. OK. Go back. I install the IMEI, uh, Zoppo IMEI tool. Now if I go back uh, here, you'll see the application down here. So I need to open it, just say OK to that. OK. Now we need to take off the IMEN number the same. Now we need to fill in these two boxes. Now you may have your IMEI somewhere, so you need to fill in that box and that box with your IMEIs and then press right and that's it and you need to restart it so let me just do my my IMEIs now right, I'm just going to put some uh, random numbers in in here for now so you can see how it works there we are. and then I just go to right and it's a success and once you reboot it twice I think it should be okay now if I read it it will show the IMEI numbers that I've put on there so that's how you do it. Once you've done that and you've rebooted, um, I think once or twice, your IMEA numbers should be fine and then you should be able to use your sims again. Thanks for watching this video.